You guys are constantly telling us to switch to Linux because you say that the gaming experience is better, but is it actually? Welcome to Windows versus Linux, where we take two identical gaming PCs, install Linux on one, Windows on the other, and see if the gaming experience is actually better on Linux, or maybe you just stick with Windows. But first, we have to pay for some bills with a word from today's sponsor. One of the most important aspects to keep in mind when maximizing the performance of your gaming PC is the cooling. Without proper airflow and cooling, you risk running into inconsistent performance and hardware issues. Luckily, today's sponsor, Antec, is here to help with their Nova fan. The Antec Nova 120 is a nine curve fan blade designed for optimized aerodynamics. Paired with the geometric ribs, recessed design, and vibration dampening pads, you get a powerful and quiet cooling solution. The Antec Nova also has a PWM three phase speed controller, which allows you to switch modes according to different hardware environments and scenarios. This allows you to fully customize your experience to ensure you get the operational efficiency you need without energy loss or increased noise. If you're interested in learning more or in buying some Antec Nova fans today, check out the links in the description down below. Big thanks again to Antec for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to to it. So what we're going to be doing today is using two of the exact same gaming computers. These are both PC Bros Die Tech gaming PCs. They're both the Plus streamers featuring the i5 12400Fs and the RX 7600s. And as the challenge implies, we're going to be installing Windows on one. This one right here has Windows 11 installed. And because of our Linux build challenge we did on the channel recently, we determined that Bazite, the Linux distro that's very similar to SteamOS, makes the most sense for this PC to have installed and ready to go. And what we're going to be doing is having Jackson and I both play the same games at the same time record them and show you all what the difference in FPS is. We'll also talk about some of the weird things that may come up with Linux or any weird things that comes up with Windows. And at the very end, we'll have some side-by-side -side benchmarks of other games that will show whether we're actually getting more performance with Linux, worse performance with Linux, or, well, something weird. You never know what's gonna happen with a challenge like this. So let's go over the games they're gonna be testing and then dive into the tests. And to go over the full specs of these gaming PCs, we also have 16 gigs of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz, dual channel, a 512 gig NVMe M.2 SSD, an Intel B660M, a 650Y 80 plus gold Seagull TEP power supply inside of the Apivia Prodigy with three RGB fans, and we're just using stock Intel coolers. Now the games we're gonna be testing are games that work on Bazite, which is primarily a Steam-focused OS. You can install some other games, but obviously the elephant in the room, Warzone and Fortnite, is not supported on Linux. We'll talk more about that later in the video. But the main games Jackson and I are gonna play live action are the finals and Halo Infinite. And then we're doing some side-by-side -side comparison benchmarks of games like Cyberpunk, Black Myth, Wukong, and also CS2 with a benchmark utility I found on the Community Workshop map. And we'll be running those games to get a good side-by-side -side comparison to see is Linux better for gaming, worse for gaming or is it actually equal and would you consider switching to Linux? Let's go and dive into the testing and find out. Okay, uh, so you might be expecting some benchmarks right now, but uh, I'm currently restarting because, well, four times into Halo Infinite and it will get a little bit further along the process and then crash. Uh, Halo Infinite should work fine. We've got to work on Linux, while it is a little buggy. Um, we've gotten it to work before, so I'm gonna switch to desktop mode again on Bazite, and maybe it'll work this time. Jackson's been in there waiting. <laughs> He's been waiting very patiently, so we'll see uh, what happens here, but uh, Windows for Halo at least, so far is looking like the much easier option. Okay guys, I did not think we'd get here, but here we are. <laughs> so far for Linux, at least with Bazite, and at least with Halo, I had to restart the game three times and then I had to restart my PC <laughs> once. <laughs> and now we're here. But one thing to mention, and I'll show you guys some footage on screen. The original goal is I wanted to use the gamepad mode because it gives you like a really cool overlay to see like GPU usage and things like that. Something with gamepad UI limits your frame rate to your refresh rate and there's like no real easy workaround. Hey, uh, Future Matt here, uh, jumping in because I did figure out how to fix this issue, but not until after Jackson and I already played the games that we played simultaneously together, Halo and uh, the finals. I figured out how to fix it in the quick setting options when you're in game scope, you can disable the frame rate limit that they apply, well, basically system wide. You can remove that, I figured it out now. Congrats to me, but uh, you guys will see towards the end when we do the comparison benchmarks that I will have that overlay up so you can see how it works, but uh, you won't see it during these two games. But rest assured, the last three games, which are the ones that'll be easier to compare the two, will have the overlay software. So you're welcome, I fixed it. So because of that, um, I am using desktop mode, which doesn't give you that cool overlay, and I'm just using the FPS counter from Steam. It'll work, it'll be fine, but yeah, not ideal, but we'll see what FPS we can get running 1080p <laughs> medium. You know, I just realized I don't have any FPS. Oh, you don't have Afterburner up, do you? No. You could do, I mean, you, I got Steam, you could do Steam. Let me see if, uh, let me see if Afterburner will hook. If not, we'll go Steam. 
and my, my afterburner worked. So now we have, hey. we have both. Nice. All right, well, I am going and um, getting about 100 and Oh, I'm what dead. Is this? Oh, what is this? I think it's like a one shot. One shot Slayer, okay. Oh. I'm getting about 120 FPS, 130. Looks like about a, yeah, about the same actually. Okay, okay, so far, not too bad. But can we get kills? And one thing that's kind of cool about um, Bazite and a lot of other Linux OS is how they do have like baked in AMD drivers. Yes. Which, I didn't I mean, have to do anything. Yeah, I feel like it's a good thing and a bad thing. It kind of sucks if you like, you know, have a need for new drivers, like the latest and greatest for whatever reason, and they don't have them yet. Yeah, or there's a problem. There's not a whole lot you can do. Mm -mm. I keep trading with people. Oh, and then you're out of ammo after one shot. Oh, I see how it works. Got him. No, my ankles. He shot my ankles. Dude, yeah, I think I'm averaging now like 100 to like 120 to 130 on average. I get down to like 107 at times. Yeah, it seems like, uh, I don't know if I've gotten that low. Like I'm getting 150 to 160 oh, yeah. right now. I have not even, oh, I occasionally hit 140, but you guys at home will be able to see it better than we are at this point to see if there's a major difference, but I'm impressed it's running good. I mean, I don't expect Linux, especially in this scenario with this PC configuration, to be significantly better or worse. I just hope it's close to where it makes sense to where you're not losing or, you know, gaining a ton of performance to where there's a problem with either OS. Yeah, it sucks you can't see like your resources, see like how much RAM or like, you know, maybe of like if you're using less hardware at all. Yeah, because that's the cool part is the idea of Linux being more lightweight is you should get more FPS on certain configurations, especially if you are very hardware limited. But in these systems, they are more mid-range gaming PCs. So realistically, it's not like we're losing FPS because of Windows. Okay, some of these dudes are gross. I just killed myself. Oh my god, bro! I'm gonna find him again. I'm gonna He's get just him. running circles around the map and just murking. Go. Oh my god, I killed someone. It is satisfying when you get a kill, though. Yeah, it is. No! Dino don't Diego! Yeah, don't shoot me, Dino. He shot, what? Ah, Diego, you're done, bud. One more kill, guys, one more kill. Oh, melee kill, let's go. Yeah. Not bad, okay, so I made after, it took a while to get in, but once I got in, it was fine. It was okay. Yeah, that's good. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try the finals next, which is another pretty demanding game. And from the challenge video, it works pretty well, but we'll see if it works this time. Okay guys, so uh, we're in the finals now. Uh, we're gonna be doing uh, power shift mode, which is the one, honestly, it's kind of the best mode in my opinion in the finals right now. Um, but uh, we're currently running 1080p, no upscaling, medium settings with no ray tracing. Now the elephant in the room is the fact that we cannot test Warzone or Fortnite, which is normally the games we would be playing mm -hmm. um, because they just don't work with the anti-cheat on Linux. Hopefully in the future, you know what, I'm gonna say it's gonna be all our doing. Hopefully in the future, we can make that happen mm -hmm. um, to where you can actually play those games on Linux, but right now you can't. So that's probably still gonna be the number one reason most of you watching at home don't switch because those are two games that a lot of our viewers like, but it's something we have to address before we get into these games because those are two important ones. I am currently getting, let me jump on this platform, 120 FPS. What are you looking at? When I jump on the platform, I got 115 to 121. We're looking pretty similar again. Mm -hmm. This one feels a lot smoother than Halo did though, I will say. So shout out to the finals for having a smooth game overall. Shout out for being smooth. Oh! Oh my gosh, I just almost got swarded. We're clapping. We're he's, clapping. He's cooking. I ain't dead. I will be back. Are we team wipes? Wow. Wow. This might be a quick one, huh? Oh, here they come. Get them APS. They're, they're pushing hard. They're pushing hard, but not with a lot of brains, I'll tell you that much. They're lacking Riz. Oh, they're losing everyone. Ah, oh, nice. Bring in the bots. <laughs> yeah, this this game seems to really like running on Linux with all the compatibility layers and everything, so that's that's nice. I know people on our Discord who uh, run Linux have played this game and said they've had a good experience, so. Oh, whoa, okay, here comes the challenge. Oh, they got new people and they're fighting back. For a wick. I was like, I hear the thing going up, but I cannot find this dude. Oh, not a flash. Yeah, I literally can't see. Oh my gosh, they're just dropping things down. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh my, I walked off the platform because I was blind. 
No, stop shooting me. Oh, the exciting music's happening. Oh no! Oh, and they're doing it again! Tell these people to come and fight us like real men. Yeah, jump on the platform. How about that? Hey! That was too easy. That was too easy and uh, very smooth, I will say. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll run some other benchmarks. We're gonna run some built-ins so where you can actually see a side-by-side -side comparison. We'll run three other games and you guys can see that and we'll wrap the video up that way. But minus some of the launching issues, Linux performs fine once you get in game. Windows, obviously, fine. Windows, Windows. No problems over there, it's Windows. But let's run those other benchmarks and uh, then talk more about this experience. All right guys, so we just got done doing a side-by-side -side benchmark comparison and we got very similar results, which I think is something that a lot of people probably expected. Normally Linux is recommended to go on really low-end PCs in order to get some more life out of them, but these are both pretty new, fairly mid-range gaming PCs. And of course, we promise you guys some side-by-side -side benchmarks to really see the comparison between these two OSs with the same hardware, and we're gonna dive into those. First up with Cyberpunk, we ran this at 1080p high settings with no FSR. On the Windows PC, we got an 89 FPS average, a minimum of 74 and a max of 109. With the Linux PC, we got an average of 88 FPS with a minimum of 74 and a max of 108. Basically the same. I'm just gonna consider that a draw on both sides. Wukong 1080p medium settings with no FSR was up next. On the Windows PC, we got a 64 FPS average with a max of 77, a minimum of 19. And on the Linux PC, we got an average of 60 FPS, a max of 75, and a minimum of 37. The minimums are higher on Linux, but the actual averages are higher on Windows. So once again, I'm gonna call that a draw. If you wanna focus on averages, Windows technically wins there. Uh, CS2, an esports title, 1080p high settings using the benchmark utility you can get in the workshop. Uh, the Windows PC got an average of 218 FPS with a low of 121, and the Linux PC got an average of 234 with a minimum of 113. This was the one Linux win we had in CS2 of all games, but this is a community-made benchmark. I don't know how perfect exactly it is, but we're talking 200 plus FPS. Realistically, both of these are really solid and all comes down to tuning that you wanna do for your PC, but I think Linux had a good showing here. I wasn't expecting Linux to run away with it, but the fact that Linux was able to compete with Windows makes it even more appealing for some people to potentially switch over. And then obviously there still is the issue of just a lot of games that just don't work well on Linux or don't work at all with anti-cheats and whatnot. So it really just comes down to the person and the use case. I know there's a lot of people who they just don't like Windows, so they're gonna be diehard Linux and that is totally okay. But for people that are just wanting to play like every single game, Linux may not quite be there just yet. But anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. And once again, these are actually PCBros.tech gaming PCs. They will both be for sale. They'll probably have Windows on them though. Yeah, they'll both have Windows because you know what? That's still the best option for gaming in our opinion, but you can buy a PC from PC Bros and do whatever you want with it and use our code Toasty Bros on checkout. Look at that logo. Jonah just <laughs> threw me off looking at the PC. Use code Toasty Bros on checkout to save 3% or take advantage of our holiday sales we're currently running right now throughout December. See you guys later. Goodbye.